Hi, I'm Lorraine, here with a lesson about one of my favorite techniques to use in both quilts and garments, bias and straight of grain tapes. Bias tapes can be purchased, but seldom in the exact width, fabric, or color that you want. So let's make our own. There are several gadgets on the market to help you do this, including Celtic or bias bars for pressing from several manufacturers and the bias tape maker from Clover. Of course, you can make your strips any way it's easiest for you. And I want to show you another way to do this with only a pin on the ironing board. I didn't invent this method and I don't know who did, but from everything I've seen and heard, it may have been around since the 1930s or earlier. Let's start with cutting the strips. I like to cut my strips about a quarter of an inch wider than twice the width of the tape I want to make. Let's use 3 eighths of an inch as our example. For 3 eighths inch wide tape, cut strips 3 eighths inch plus 3 eighths inch plus one quarter inch, or one inch wide. If you want your tape to curve, cut the strip on the bias. If it doesn't need to curve, you can cut it on the straight of grain. For the maximum amount of curve, cut on the true bias. That's 45 degrees to the selvage. If you don't need a tightly curved bias, you can cut from the fabric at a less acute angle. Simply fold your fabric so that the selvage meets the cut edge. Place your ruler on the fabric so that a line, a cross line on the ruler is right along the fold and make your first cut. Then move the ruler over so you're cutting the width you need. Um, as we mentioned before, it's one inch wide for a finished 3 eighths of an inch bias tape. To make our bias or straight of grain tape with this method, the pin on the ironing board method, we want to stick the pin into the ironing board cover, bring it out, and put it in again so that the interval between coming out and going in is the width of the bias tape you want, in this case 3 eighths of an inch. Now place the strip on the ironing board wrong side up, if there is a wrong side, and fold the edge closest to you toward the center about a third of the way across the width of the bias tape from the far edge. Now fold the far edge toward you so that it overlaps the first edge but doesn't go all the way to the fold. Hold the tape closed at the left end if you're right-handed, or at the right end if you're left-handed. Then if you're right-handed, you're going to be inserting the tape under the pin from right to left, or reverse that if you're a lefty. Push the point under the pin, and then and get it under. Pull the tape under the pin and you're ready to make bias tape. Now pull the tape under the pin about the distance of the width of the sole plate of the iron. Then set the iron down on top of the tape that's been pulled under the pin. 
and guide it with your right hand if you're right-handed. I put my three fingers under the tape and use my thumb and forefinger to roll the tape under the pin in its proper position. Like everything else, practice makes perfect. There's your bias tape. Once the tape is made, if it is biased and meant to be curved, you can place it on the work where you want it to be and simply train the curve into it with your iron. I like to use fine silk dressmaker's pins and pin it the same way it was made by trapping it under the pin instead of putting the pin through the bias tape. So we pin it on one side, cross over the tape and pin it on the far side. I cut the end of the tape off parallel to the line it's running into. And just like any applique, we do the bottommost pieces first. So this one goes first, the next one crosses over the end and stops here, and this one goes from here all the way down to there, crossing over the second line, the third line. Now we can stitch the edges down. I like to top stitch with a thread that matches the tape as closely as possible. Keep your stitches close to the edge without slipping off. Again, practice makes perfect. Bias tape covering raw edges zigzagged to a foundation is a very easy and direct way to add curves to your project. Straight of grain tape can become stems of flowers or sticks or any other straight line you want to applique onto your quilt or garment. Here are some of the things I've made with this technique. This is my quilt Nemo's Ecstasy. It has lots of curvy lines and those curvy lines originally were raw edges between two fabrics zigzagged to a foundation. I've covered them with bias tape to clean it up, but also to draw lines. If you want the lines to show as a line, make it of a high contrast fabric, like this purple. We can see that as a separate line. A lower contrast that blends a little bit with at least one of the fabrics or one of the areas has less contrast, but still doesn't distract from the fabrics. This line is a very low contrast. In fact, it's the same fabric as this one. So you don't see it as a line. It just serves a functional purpose. A medium contrast bias tape adds interest, but doesn't distract from the main fabrics. A tape made of the same fabric as one of the fabric edges it covers lets the line disappear. Here are two quilts from my Collage Curves mini quilt series, both using the bias tape to cover raw edges. These are 15 inch square quilts and can be made in about a day. You can add this to garments too, like these garments from my pattern line. Class Act Ensemble, Rainbow Trail Vest, 
panel play vest, breezy block jacket, and town and country tunic. I have several products on my website that either teach you about making and using bias tape or are patterns in which this technique is used. These are Design Essentials, The Quilter's Guide, which has a chapter on this technique called Collage Curves, Bright Ideas for Wearables, Volume 5, a leaflet all about bias and straight of grain tapes, and my Lorraine Torrance design patterns, Class Act Ensemble, Rainbow Trail Vest, Panel Play Vest, Breezy Block Jacket, and Town and Country Tunic, all available on my online store at LorraineTorrance.com. I hope learning this new technique will open up many new creative adventures for you. Keep creating!